Hey everyone, Happy Dude here. Let's install an engine sound in my TRX4 Ford Bronco. Oh, that's right guys, I forgot to mention in the last video when you install the ProScale Lightning module and the Bluetooth module, you can see on your app the angle of the car when it's climbing a hill. Allow me to demonstrate. I went for this sound module right here, which should give an amazing sound because it has two speakers. And here it is. We have two speakers left and right, and two gables, one for the receiver and one for power. And two buttons to control the volume. You also get some basic instructions how to connect and install it and how to operate it and also these brackets and i believe this one is for the trx4 and i think you should install it uh, up here way in the back now i'm not going to put the sound module way up here in the back uh, because we want the weight as low as possible and also more to the front and we have a nice spot right here to fit it I'm going to use some velcro so it's easy to install and remove and also the engine is in the front so that makes it a bit more realistic This velcro has sticky tape on the other side, so it's very easy to apply, but you have to decrease it first, very important. And then we have some right here, and here, and here, and here. And voila! And that's not going anywhere. It's really stuck. You can even lift up the car. Then plug out channel number two, plug it in the splitter so you can control the sound module and also your motor. But I bought some extra servo cables so I could solder a male connector to the sound module and a female connector to the splitter inside the receiver box that way i don't have to open the receiver box every time i want to change some sounds or settings in the sound module because you have to connect it to a computer for that and now i'm going to put some waterproof tape around the cables separately and then again when they are together they should have made it like this from the factory because every time you want to change a setting you have to open it up pull the cables right out and it's not easy because there's not a lot of room there so it's also very hard to put it back together and make it waterproof again so when it's finished it should look like this so now if I want to make any changes in the sound module, I can simply unplug the cable without opening up the receiver box. But we're not done yet because I had to solder an extra power cable to the speed controller because that one has only one power cable and it's already been used for my lights and now we are done with all the wires so let me show you how to change the settings on the computer then just plug the servo cable into this usb that is provided with the kit and then just plug it into your computer 
then download and install DRC Plus software. I will give you a link in the description below. Then press this right here. That's the name of the sound module. Normally you will see some uh, letters and numbers here, but you can rename it. If you press this pen right here next to the name, then if you press configuration, you can set the uh, startup volume of the sound module and the type of battery you're going to use. Then press this and this is sound one and this is sound two. You can change that on the uh, sound module itself when you uh, press and hold the minus button then you switch between these two so if you press it you can change the sounds right here then when you press engine next to audio right here you can change how long you hear the idle sound uh, because at default it's five seconds then it turns off i change it to 30 seconds you can also put in a ref limiter the five seconds is when you hit the throttle it's five seconds until you hit the ref limiter so if you change this number to 10, it's going to take a lot longer to hit the ref limiter. Now for engine response, that's how fast do you want the idle sound to change when you hit the throttle on the remote. I found out that 1.5 is perfect. 1 is the default. And shifting is off. Now all the settings that you change here are not for the two sounds. It's only for sound one. So if you also want it for sound two, you have to do the same settings over here also. And when you change a setting, you have to press save. Now, if you want new sounds, just click store. And here you can download all new sounds. You can choose car, aircraft, boat. All right, that's enough of that. Let's hear it. All right, let's test it out. Wow, absolutely amazing. It sounds so real. Guys, 
Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And you all have a nice weekend. Bye.